In today's episode, we've got four brand new puzzles from Infinite Loop Games. Make sure you tune in to see all of the details and what they look like in today's episode. Welcome to episode 89. I'm Tyler. This is Linnea. We are here at Puzzle Master shooting puzzle time today. This is episode 89. We've got a whole bunch of great stuff from the remember what the company name is. Infinite Loop Games. Infinite Loop Games. I am very excited for these. These are some awesome puzzles. They literally just came in uh, off the floor. Probably not when this releases, but as we're shooting here, it just, just literally came in. Uh, it'll be on the website already by the time this video releases, but uh, there's four of them four brand new puzzles from them. Now, if you haven't seen them before, Lena, do you remember the names of the other stuff that they have? Uh, Cygnus and Ad Trees was a couple yeah. of them. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember all the names, but we'll have them here kind of for you guys to see what other puzzles they have. But we'll get into some of this cool stuff today. Um, four unique ones and, and really different than their normal line of stuff. Like the the square kind of boxes. That they yeah, have. they normally they're, just do boxes, I yeah. think. Yeah, and they're made out of like a really cool plywood almost. I, I think they have a great finish on them. So it's a great product, but let's get into them. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, I'll start with a Nova. I think that one intrigues me the most. Yeah, <laughs> this one's unique, okay? So this is called Nova. I'll let you play with it, because I played with these a little bit earlier with Chuck when we were shooting some of our Facebook Live. But uh, so this is called the Nova Wooden Puzzle Box, again from Infinite Loop Games. Now, these are the little cards that they've kind of given us with these. Uh, right there, you can see it. And then on the back, they have a the, the puzzles like objective. And then they've got a solution. So you could there's a QR code here with the solution. So you can find the solution oh, on their okay. website. I like that idea. Um, it's good. Makes it a little harder to like find the solution. So I like. If, if they included the, the solution in here, you would cheat. Yeah. Um, so to solve this puzzle, you must discover the sequence to reveal the hidden compartment and secret item. No twisting or excessive force is necessary. So you found some of it already, hey? You found two moves. You yeah. found two moves and these, these kind of boxes. So there's there's a box here and there's boxes on the outside. These boxes that you're, you're moving are on the outside here. They kind of slide and they seem kind of, like I said, in sequence. So you got to do the boxes in sequence. There we go. But did you notice, Did you have you noticed anything else on the box? Well, there's these, all these little markings here. Yes. Now this one you actually uncovered. So that one, when you first open it, is not visible because you, you would move yeah. this over. So that one's not visible. And now this is what else I noticed with Chuck when we were shooting this. There's, there's these little V's or arrows, but then there's one that looks different than all of the other ones right here. So this one actually, let's show it on here. This is not really show on camera. There's a little triangle there. And the interesting thing was, it actually looked like, and I don't know if this means anything, but these two, if you notice, are actually kind of different colored wood. They're a little more yellowy, and these ones are white. Now that one has the triangle on it, this one has the arrow. I don't know if that means anything, maybe that's just like a production thing, but that is one thing I did notice. You know what I'm saying, is it shake? Like shake it, but there's some stuff loose in there, hey? You can kind of hear something moving. A little yeah, bit, yeah, something that rattles in there. So it does say that there is like a, a secret compartment and a secret item. If you're trying to get that secret item out. Bring it up here. Just a little, there you go. Oh, right there you, go that one. you got it? Okay. So you can see yeah, some of these are going off center. Any more like symbols being revealed? Nothing. On the bottom too, check, show that, that bottom piece. So I'm yeah. guessing this is the piece that opens. Yeah, and they've got the Infinite Loop Games etched in there, the logo. So it does seem like there's a sequence and eventually, oh. Or did you know I it? move that I back? I think that was one I moved originally. <laughs> I don't know if you have to go back with the moves or if that's... Yeah, I'm not sure. You can kind of feel like a little pull to them when you move them. Yeah, yeah, a little resistance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I think you're right though. I think that infinite loop sign is where the, it'll open up. I do I do believe that that's probably what's going to happen. 
let's put that one aside. You've gotten a little farther in it, so I don't want to. I don't want to know if I want to show the solution just yet on these. So um, let's. Which one next? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna pick the next one. Let's do this radium. I think this is an interesting one. So this one has a bag, and I did pull the pieces out of the bag, but they do start in the in the in there. And so let's pull it out. Let's. This one I want to try do a quick solution. Let's see if you and me can like really just hammer something off quick here. Now what you do on this puzzle? It's called radium, like I said. Brain teaser puzzle. To solve this puzzle, you must insert all 19 hexagonal pieces into the frame so that all the symbols match the piece or border next to it. So you can see on here, I'm gonna hold these real close, that there's little symbols on there. There's like a Y and like that little smile and a V or the arrow thing, um, and a little square piece or half square. And then they match up, let's just show this here. They match up to the pieces on the outside or the symbols on the outside. So essentially it's just, you gotta pack the pieces in there and match them up properly. Yeah, let's stop there. And again, there is the QR code solution, which you can see on the back of the card if you want the solution to these. It'll be on their website, I'm sure. So that is Radium. I don't know how they come up with these names. Don't, do you think that names mean anything? Very yeah, I was wondering about that too. I have no idea. I do too. Yeah, Radium. Radium, it's like in a city they have some Yeah, I'm not sure. But Radium, Nova, that's those two. And then what do you want, Daedalus or our, well, what's it called, Ar Arcanum? Uh, let's do the Daed Daedalus one. Daedalus, Daedalus? I okay. Know how to say it. Okay, so Daedalus, hidden compartment maze puzzle box. So it is a puzzle box too, as they're calling it. To solve this puzzle, you must navigate the ball through the 3D layered maze to reach the end. Then discover how to open the hidden compartment to reveal the secret treasure. So there's a secret treasure in this one too. Again, QR code there with the solution uh, if you want to see it. But uh, Daedalus. So you're saying, let, let me just see this for a second. Let's see. So there is like holes, and that hole will line up with another hole you're seeing on the other side. And that middle layer, middle, middle layer will like just bring you from hole to hole. It's not like a whole nother maze. Um, well, what I found when I was shaking it around in there, I had to shake it around a little bit through a compartment. So it'll be a passageway. So it's not the whole thing is to maze like no, this, but, but just, there's like a pa couple passage. passageways, passageway connecting. You still have holes. to move the piece around right. inside the passageway. Like it'll be like an L shape or like a little, but it won't be like, you won't be going through the middle layer right. as a maze. Which makes sense. Now, this is the end I'm assuming. This little, as you can see here, there's a little arrow. I believe that's probably where you start. Or is that the end? That might be the end because, well, unless so I came in the wrong position. The no, you're probably right though. I bet you that, that one spot is the beginning because they said what right on here they said um then discover how to open the hidden compartment to reveal the secret treasure oh so, so the, there's something yeah. so i bet you that maybe goes into the secret compartment or something that's cool so we, we actually figured out a few more things that we didn't get in the live on here so yeah daedalus infinite loop games now last this was my favorite this one i i am most excited about this one <laughs> So Arcanum, Arcanum, it's the name it's I have the like most trouble kind of like a 3D saying. packing puzzle rather than just yeah, or uh, 2D, I don't know. It's it's in a twist on the yeah. on a puzzle box that I've never seen before. So um, inside here, you can see there is two halves to the box and they, they come apart like this. And then inside you'll see what looks like little like steps almost in some of the pieces. Some of them don't have those and are just squares, square, square cuts in there and they fit together like this. And then you can see the Infinite Loop Games it's logo there. And inside the bag, actually, you dump it out. And I'm gonna read the back. To solve this puzzle, you must insert all 16 pieces so the box completely closes. I wonder if they have some pieces like where it throws you off so you don't actually have to match what's going on. I wonder about that too. But let's, let's explain first what's going on here. So we've got pieces with cutouts and you can see them here. And those cutouts will line up with what's happening inside some of these slots. So this one is a, an inverse of that slot. And then you can see some of them are like, a, they're like a pointier and then they'll fit into other slots right there. Double-sided too. Some are double-sided and some are just straight squares like this one and it'll fit in that. Now, my thought is that there's gonna be some where you're gonna have a square slot but it'll actually fit one that is like that, because otherwise this would be just like straight zero, put them together. Yeah. So the idea would be that because these two are like separate like that, you're gonna put, let's see if it actually, 
Oh, this actually might work the way we have it. Let's see. And I think it'll work. We can get it. And that's the thing. There's a little bit of wiggle room in some of these. There you go. Awesome. So it actually did. It Is seems it like a most. Uh, maybe not. It's not quite flush. I don't know. Maybe see, like, maybe there's something else to this. But on base, basically, this looks like it's just going to be like fit them together, find the pieces that fit in, and then go. But I mean, you think about it, there's different orientations, right? You can have it flip this way, that way, that way, right? There's different ways you can turn it, right? So essentially one, two, three, four, four different ways you can orient the boxes to each other. But um, I like this puzzle. I think this is so unique. I think Arcanum is my favorite of this bunch um, from Infinite Loop Games. And I mean, if they keep making puzzles like this, like I'm a big fan of this stuff. Uh, they make some fantastic puzzles, and we sold out of so many of their stuff. The yeah. first, first time we got some of those new ones. Those are the those first fast. ones that they did. Yeah, they were great. Okay. So um, there is a restock on some of them too. So there was, what was the one that was sold out? The one with the pins, it's square, and then the pins go back and forth. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, we have a restock of that one too. So it's back in stock, yeah, at least temporarily. Nice. May sell out again, because like I said, these are great puzzles and uh, really, really good. So, yeah, let's get into the uh, online, into online buzz for today's episode. And then, yeah, you're doing the online buzz today, right? Yes. Okay, so what do you got for us? So I have a few good ones for you. Um, probably about a week ago, I was going through our Hanyama Enthusiast page, which if you guys love Hanyama, they don't just talk mm -hmm. about those puzzles. They talk about many other puzzles as well. It's good information, lots of very good puzzle people on there. Mm -hmm. um, the one that... I had found from on there is a new puzzle person to the completely new to the puzzle world. He had time over the pandemic to do a project and I actually really thought it was a cool looking puzzle. It's called Pandemic Containment. So what it is, if you've seen the hedgehog in a cage puzzle where you have oh, yeah. to take it out. Yeah. Um, we did a TikTok video, I think, on the hedgehog in a cage. Um, so it's essentially a twist on that puzzle but all themed about the pandemic and like containing the virus. And it's made by a guy named John Adrian. So he said this is his first puzzle, but he has so many other ones that he mm. wants to make and has ideas for. It's just getting everything together because it takes so long to figure out the solve of the puzzle, figure out all the properties of the puzzle. Um, he only made 150 of them. So if you want one, just check it out fast because on the Hanium Enthusiast page, it was going fast in the comments. Everybody was commenting that they wanted one. Yeah. So they are going to be going fast sounds on there. Like, <laughs> sounds like a guy we should connect with Puzzle Master here. Yeah. <laughs> it would look, it was just a very cool looking puzzle. Hmm. I'll have to go check that out after we're done. It was like a it. red virus with, yeah, yeah, yeah. locked oh, in man. the cage. I, I think honestly, the pandemic has given so many of these puzzle creators time to do stuff. Yeah. And people aren't puzzle creators to get into it because I mean, there's been an explosion of new people into the industry lately. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What else? What else um, my next one was from Instagram. Um, I like looking through Instagram. I like seeing the different pictures of puzzles, like the way if they do them with the camera. This guy did burr puzzles and packing puzzles. I mean, and what's so his he, name? His name is Joshua Deftone. So the majority of them that he does are burr puzzles. They're mostly 3D printed, but there are a couple of wood ones like Pelican. So he 3D and prints them or just takes pictures? I just of think them? he takes pictures of 3D printed mm -hmm. ones that are out there that he likes. Yeah. And then he poses them next to like Lego figurines. Uh, oh, I've seen this guy. Yeah. 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 They look pretty cool. Like. It is good, yeah. He has a lot of posts, like over a hundred posts. I think he's been doing it for a while. Yeah, I, I liked it. I saw his stuff. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, Instagram's good just for like unique artsy type stuff. You're not gonna find a whole lot of puzzle makers as much on there, I don't think. Yeah. There is some, but like I think you'll find more just, just cool puzzle stuff. Uh pictures. And well, stuff Instagram too. allows you to kind of just to display your work. Yeah. And Hmm. You know, then you can lead people other places from there to your if you're doing videos of them and different things. Now, Instagram has the reels, which help out with that. Hmm. But there is yeah. also um, on Facebook, there's that group that does puzzle pictures, too. Oh, okay. they do like puzzle photography, I think it's called or something. Yeah, on Facebook, there's one where you, it's there's people who take nice pictures of puzzles yeah. and different stuff like that, creative. And so there's 
love the place to do that. I feel like, I feel like really we need a puzzle art gallery. Yeah. Right? Some place where like all these puzzles in art and different ways people have done them. Because I mean, puzzles in and of, of themselves are actually art often. Yeah. But, yeah. The story behind them half the time makes a puzzle too. Yeah, absolutely. The way like yep. they came up with it and yeah, all yeah. that stuff. Is... You'll see that in the interviews. There's lots of people who do interviews. Yeah. More and more guys um, doing interviews and they're good. They're good. Yeah, it's crazy how they get their start on them sometimes. Like it's not like they just sort of one day I want to go into puzzles. They did something else first to get them where into where they started with their brands and stuff. Yeah, well, Felix Year was, uh, he worked and made uh, like doorknobs and stuff or different like fancy handles for, yeah. for drawers and things. And then he got into puzzles. So. And then Alan did balloon animals and... Yeah, balloon animals, puppets. Lots of other things. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. You never know when or where you're going to find puzzles, but you'll get into it one day. Yeah. What do you have next? Uh, so last but not least is, I can't even pronounce this one half the time. It's Engineerically. Oh, engineerically, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Exactly. I, I jumped on the first because I'm like, Italy? Yeah. And I think it's engineerically. So, so I found them on YouTube Shorts. I was just scanning through the YouTube page. It's actually the first one that popped up on my YouTube Shorts. I thought oh, I'll be sitting here for a while trying to find one that I like. Um, he does 3D printed puzzles. He does a few other 3D printed toys and fidget stuff too. Uh, my favorite of his though is, is like this handmade game. It's kind of like... Um, uh, where like this uh, joystick that you move around and it moves the there's a maze sitting on there and you have to move the balls through the maze with a joystick okay. um, and we'll then there's we'll mul up, multiple up like too. changeable mazes that you can put in it so it's not just one maze you can switch out your mazes uh -huh. so it's kind of like a travel game for a maze so does this guy make these yes he makes all uh -huh. his 3d printed stuff um i don't know if he made like the puzzle itself like if he just copied someone else's design but he prints all the puzzles himself hmm. yeah i yeah that's cool engineerically I like the name dude yeah <laughs> cool make sure you check out youtube shorts on youtube it's kind of a big new thing we've been watching a lot of stuff on there go check it out um that's all we got for online buzz today hey yeah so make sure you go check us out on social media and um, where can we go? Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and our newsletter at puzzlemaster.ca. Yeah. We have a weekly newsletter that goes out. Yeah, make sure you sign up on there because we get lots of new stuff out there. Check us out on Facebook Live too. Linnea does a lot of our Facebook and TikTok stuff, so chances are if you're interacting with someone there, it's her. And uh, she's doing some great stuff, man. Great work. Her TikTok videos, man, <laughs> top notch. So go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go to puzzlemaster.ca and check out all this new stuff from Infinite Loop Games and all of the new puzzles that we have coming in. There's tons of them on there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.